One more stock up, and that is to wide receiver Quez Watkins. And you look at the box score, right? Quez Watkins only had the two catches, the 91-yard catch and the 20-yard reception. So you would say, okay, it was just those two, and then he didn't do anything the rest of the game. So why is he stock up? Quez Watkins, we know what kind of wide receiver he is. We know the impact as people that watched Deshaun Jackson. We know a player like this. They don't have to have eight catches a game to make the same kind of impact as a player that might need or have eight catches a game on 10 targets, right? Quez Watkins, one or two plays can be worth, again, Quez Watkins on Sunday, those two catches were worth more to me than the majority of the time, the seven catches that Jordan Matthews had from 2014 to 2016. You know what I mean? It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. And when you have a 91-yard reception and the other one's a 20-plus yard catch, it just feels like every time Watkins touches the ball, it turns into a big play. The screen pass for a touchdown last year against the Arizona Cardinals, he had another deep play against the Dallas Cowboys. If Jalen Hurts didn't miss him week 17 against Washington in the back of the end zone, right? A play we pointed to a lot this offseason when we talked about Jalen Hurts' arm strength or lack thereof, that would have been a Quez Watkins touchdown. You see this year in the preseason, week one against Pittsburgh, 76-yard screen pass to the house. Jalen Hurts just overthrew him on what would have been like a 90-yard touchdown. Then today, the 91-yard reception, or I should say Sunday, the 20-plus yarder. This guy is a walking bucket. Like he is, anytime he touches the ball, this is what happens. That is such a huge, oh my gosh, a huge, I would say, asset, right? An asset to have on the offense that this offense has not had since prime Deshaun Jackson back in 2013. Or maybe Jeremy Macklin in 2014. But no, not even Macklin. He was not this kind of player. Quez Watkins, over 100 yards on Sunday and just two catches. That's what he can do. And that's what he does do. This looks like an absolute steal of a pick they got back in day three of the 2020 NFL draft.